Welcome to Honest News. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Thank you for your support, Honest News Network. Our past away. I've been born again. More than a conqueror. That's what I am. In part one of the Bible study, The Birth of the Man-Child, we deal with a remnant coming out of the church and that not everyone in the church are going to be receiving the same rewards and some are not going to receive rewards at all to be saved as by fire. <clears throat> now, we're going to go into the rewards and begin to look at the rewards. And we find that the greatest rewards are going to be granted or given to the man-child company the man-child company. Let's open in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for the privilege, Lord, to study your word, to understand your word, to understand truth, to understand even the deep things of God, not to just be on the surface, but to launch out into the deep, to understand things that are beyond what the run of the mill understand in this hour. What you said, Lord, that only the overcomer would receive this hidden manna, these hidden truths. But you said you would stand at the door, knock, and if any man opened the door, you would come in and to him and sup with him, and he with you. And we understand, Lord, that that's meat. That's the evening meal, and that's not milk. That's meat. We pray, Lord, your people will have a palate, spiritual palate, for the meat of your word. They'll be able to grasp these things that we're about to share with them. We ask, Lord, that you bless and anoint as we minister your word, as we teach your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Praise the Lord. So the greatest rewards are given to the man-child company. It doesn't mean that other rewards won't be given out. We understand that even the church is going to overcome at a later date, or a later time, I should say, um, than the man-child company. Understand that the man-child company are going to attain to the fullness of God's ideal, what God envisioned. Are you listening? To a complete man, fully developed. That is a, a man that knows his God and worships his God. Are you listening? When Adam was created, he was created as an adult as far as his body. 
but spiritually he was a babe. Are you listening? And when you and I are born again, we start out as babes. Amen? But I want you to understand it's, this lesson is not for babes. You'll choke on this. This is not even for children. This message is for those that are aged, of full age, that can receive the meat of God's word and by use have exercised. They know how to, uh, to skillfully use the word of God. They can discern between good and evil. Amen? They're not being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. Amen. Understand, people, this is, this is real. This is a real kingdom, and we need to understand this kingdom, right? We need to understand God's kingdom. This is not for babies. For children. So here we're dealing with throne rights. Revelation chapter 3, verse 21. To him that overcometh. And the ETH is on the end of that word overcometh. And it means to continue to overcome. To him that continues to overcome. Will I grant to sit with me. Who's saying this? Jesus, right? Christ is saying this. To sit with me, Jesus says. You're going to sit with me? Is everyone going to sit with Jesus? To an exalted position? To be raised up? To sit with Christ in his throne? Not everyone's going to attain to that. Or even has a desire to attain to that. Uh... So Jesus says to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me. And he makes this very possessive. He says in my throne. Are you listening? It's not your throne. It's not my throne. It's his throne. But he's inviting us to come and sit with him in his throne. Amen. That's, there's no higher position or place anywhere. This is the highest calling, the highest position. This is what Paul was speaking of when he said he was reaching for, pressing toward the mark for the prize. Notice he didn't he wasn't talking about salvation, he's already saved. For the prize, a reward, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Even as I also overcame and am set down with my Father in his throne. Amen. So the first point we look at from this verse is to sit with Christ in his throne. Right? In Revelation 3.21, to sit with me in my throne. What are the requirements to sit with Christ in his throne? We must overcome even as Christ overcame. Even as I also overcame, Jesus said. How did Jesus overcome? Now, we're going to look at the aspect that you and I must be born again. But I want you to understand, Jesus did not need to be born again. That's being taught today by the charismatic word of faith movement that Jesus had to be born again. He did not need to be born again. 
for him to overcome. Because he is the son of God. Whereas you and I, we had to be born again. So there is a difference there. We must experience that Jesus didn't experience. So we must overcome uh, even as he overcame. Now, in order for us to overcome even as he overcame, on our part, we must be born again, right? Uh, we must overcome the world. First John chapter 5, verse 4 through 5. Uh, First John chapter 5, verse 4 says, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. How do you overcome the world? You must be born of God. Amen. Born of God. Born from above. And this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith. Do you see the requirements to be an overcomer? You must be born again, and you must live, walk by faith. Amen. We must be born of God. This is an absolute. You can't get around this. How many know that you're not adopted into the uh, to the church if you're not born again? Right? The placing of sons is not for those that are not born again. In this world, a person can be adopted into a family that they weren't born into. But this adoption that God is speaking of in his kingdom is to those that have been born, born again, birthed into the family of God. Amen. In John chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto Nicodemus, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Must be born again. Amen? First Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Amen. This is just one of the uh, rewards, throne rights, just one of the rewards. But in order to even receive that reward, you must be born again. And Understand that it's not enough to be born again, like an initial being born again or being saved. Uh, Peter made it very clear, being, being born again. That's a continuation, right? Jesus spoke of those that would follow him in the regeneration, being born again, being recreated, if you will, right? Recreated in his image, his likeness. Even our faith. That's how we overcome. 1 John chapter 5, verse 5. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth 
there's the ETH again, must continue to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You're going to sit with Jesus in his throne and you don't believe he's the Son of God? I don't think so. Do you know for sure, for certain, that Jesus is the Christ, that he is the Son of God? Remember, that came by revelation to Simon Peter. So don't just take that for granted if you believe that. And don't let it just be head knowledge. Do you really believe, do you know, by revelation, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Because you cannot overcome the world if you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen? You're not going to overcome as he overcame if you don't believe he's the Son of God. All of this has to do with overcoming. Being born again and then living a life by faith. Even our faith. And then we looked at this verse of scripture in the previous lesson. With our faith, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, with our faith, it is impossible to please him. You got to really let that sink down into your ears, folks, into your heart. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. There's no other way to please God. You must believe. Amen? For he, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder. I'm not talking about salvation, is he? He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Is God a rewarder to the slothful? Is God a rewarder to those that are the run of the mill? He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Diligently. Diligently seek him. Amen. Now the next two points here we look at, these are for you to do on your own. We must overcome sin. Jesus was tempted in all points, yet without sin. Now listen. You need to look up some scriptures. Find some scriptures for your own study between you and the Lord. Fill in the blanks. What are the scriptures that you can find that have to do with overcoming sin? Amen. And then overcoming the flesh. Look up scriptures, find scriptures, seek the Lord. He'll reveal these scriptures to you. Study to show yourself approved. Fill in the blanks. What are the verses of scripture in the Bible that have to do with overcoming the flesh? I'll give you a hint. Romans chapter, there's your hint. <laughs> Romans chapter. You know it's in Romans. Romans. I won't tell you which chapter, but I will tell you this. There is a certain chapter in the book of Romans that if you will understand it, if you will apply it, you will be an overcomer. Amen. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. We must overcome Satan. 
that old serpent, the dragon. Are you listening? You're not going to sit with Jesus in his throne if you don't overcome Satan. You must overcome Satan and his most wrathful state or position as the dragon. You see, the man-child is going to come face to face with the devil, with Satan, in his full wrath. And Satan is going to make war with his angels against Michael and his angels. There's going to be a war that is going to culminate trying to resist the man-child company. Are you listening? Just as the angels came and ministered to Jesus when he was praying in the garden the night he was arrested, not my will but thine be done, and his sweat were as it were great drops of blood falling down to the ground the holy spirit was ministering but the angels came and ministered amen and the man child company must pass through this place amen but the angels are going to minister to us. Are they not sent forth ministering spirits to those that shall be heirs of salvation? Heirs and joint heirs with Christ. I'm not talking about just being saved. I'm talking about an inheritance. I'm talking about rewards. Amen? The word reward here in the Greek has to do with a payment or compensation for work rendered. Amen. God is a rewarder of those that diligently seek Him. And it won't be, obviously, some kind of monetary. It's intrinsic. Amen? Incorruptible, intrinsic value. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So how did the man-child overcome the dragon? Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Amen. Here's some bonus scriptures for you. What scriptures in the Bible can you find that have to do with the blood of the Lamb? What scriptures can you find in the Bible that have to do with the word of their testimony or a word of testimony? And last but not least, what scriptures can you find in the Bible that has to do with not loving your lives unto the death. Even as I'm saying this, the scriptures are coming to my mind. Praise the Lord. And that's the way it should be for you. You should have scriptures coming to you as you, you know, it's like a trigger. When, when certain things are mentioned, it should trigger something, right? Or the Holy Spirit brings a certain scripture to your mind. Amen. What scriptures come to your mind when I read this to you? By the blood of the Lamb. What scriptures begin coming to your mind? By the word of their testimony. What scriptures come to mind? Love not their lives unto the death. What scriptures come to mind? The first thing that comes to my mind on number three, love not their lives unto the death, is where Jesus said, if you seek to save your life, you will lose it. Amen. 
So obviously this is not exhaustive by any stretch. This is uh, just to help you to get started in studying God's word. And if we're going to receive the reward of the throne, to sit with Jesus in his throne, then we need to understand that it's not salvation. This is a reward. Amen? And it's a reward to the overcomer. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Till next time, God bless you. power in the name of Jesus we've got thank you for your support of honest news network in the name of the Lord though Satan rages we cannot be defeated we've got 